now. <laughs> Introduce us. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's like slightly awkward, even though we both like, we <laughs> all know. do it. I you watch all the videos. Like, this is weird. This is super weird. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. We're just squishing you in. Like a little yeah, she will she see she it. Has no belt again. <laughs> hey guys, it's Alicia, and welcome back to my channel. I am joined today by the wonderful, the beautiful <laughs> She Wolf Pack. Hello. I was wondering which one of us you're going to introduce She's first. Just. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined by the wonderful, the beautiful Audrey and Jenna. <laughs> Sweet, kind, beautiful Audrey and me. These lovely humans, <laughs> we can't actually get back to the video, came out to Indiana to help me celebrate my birthday. And while they were here, I decided to force them to film a video with me. <sighs> this video is already such a oh, mess. It really is. <laughs> Point of the video. <laughs> We're going to do the newly friend game. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> Minus the pasta. Minus the pasta. Should I go grab the barbecue chips? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Gemma and her obsession with food. Volume love two. <laughs> <laughs> so Jenna and I tried to do this video last year when we were together. And after re-watching it, <laughs> we decided that I wasn't gonna post it. <laughs> That's what we decided. But we decided to actually do the game correctly and we added Audrey, she's the one who made she's us the other do friend. it. Like <laughs> the aforementioned friend. <laughs> And you guys watching have no clue what we're talking about. It'll be There's in the so blooper many inside reel. jokes. It'll be in the blooper reel. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> oh, great. Just all the shade being thrown. Me and Alicia place. and our other friend. And our other Audrey. friend. So we have three questions each that we have already <laughs> asked ourselves and reflected and found the answer deep within ourselves. And then they have to guess what we would say. Mm -hmm. So... Um, who would like to start? Audrey, then we can Okay, go. we can go down the okay. line. Alrighty. <laughs> Audrey, <clears throat> what is your first question? If I didn't write contemporary fiction, what genre would I like to write? Oh, I feel like I should know the answer to this. Do we just say our answer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we're not doing this properly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> historical. I just lost all my answers. <laughs> Let's see. What Were was we the right response? Historical western. Uh, so true. I didn't know that we had to be that specific. I can put a digital tally yeah, okay. up on the screen yes, for Ding. everyone. It'll tell them what yeah. the point count is. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm creating work for you. <laughs> that's what. That's how I would edit the video. <laughs> because you I want edit the video. <laughs> wow. I don't just film them. I don't film them either. <laughs> okay, Jenna. I love everyone work. in this room. I'm not being mean. Okay. Um, what is my favorite historical fiction book, not biblical fiction? Oh, <laughs> oh! I, I had one, and I was like, "Wait, I don't know if I could right. possibly be wrong." Oh man! Oh wait! Bonus points if you know the author. Okay, <laughs> I know. I don't know the author, so no bonus points for me. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Two. One. Not, Not my, my will. will by Francina Arnold. You are correct, and you get a bonus point. Yay, Audrey! Sweet little <laughs> Audrey gets a bonus point. This is why Nancy loves you. Yeah, this is why you're the favorite. It's Not My Will by Francina Arnold, and it's my favorite. It's amazing, and it bothers me that nobody talks about it, because it's really good. Everyone out there needs to read it. That's that's the end of this. <laughs> it's her turn now. This has two answers. One is worth, like, the one that I'm, mm -hmm. is worth and one. And a bonus point. 
and then a bonus point if you get the other one. Okay. What do I collect? Thank you, Audrey, for this question. Oh, uh, you collect a lot of things. There could be more than two answers, Alicia. But the two answers I have written down are what I'm looking for. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Do we? Do, we should go one at so a time. Many, yeah. yeah. That's so. You many. can go first. <laughs> okay. Willow tree figurines and books that are either like both hardback or both paperback. So like the same type of books in a series. So my answer is willow tree figurines and book sleeves. I forgot about that one. <laughs> you have a huge stack I do, but head. I kind of forget about them, not gonna lie. So you both get a point for willow trees, <laughs> but I also said books to grab across. Yeah. Because True. it's a problem. I just think of that as like work. Yeah. <laughs> not something you do for fun. <laughs> because I still think it's fun. I don't do it often, but when I do, I think it's fun. <laughs> I think it's fun. It's just like, you know, a lot of effort, you know? goes into it. You sure. also, your pictures are like a different level. No. I don't go that hard. I think <laughs> yours look harder to take. Like yours to me are like more impressive because you like actually theme them for each book. True. And like they're all like styled around the book. I like just make a set and then I like throw the book in the middle. And I like yours. Well, I you like can yours actually like better. pull off a theme and I'm like, <laughs> My brain doesn't work that way. Audrey does great bookstagram in the yeah, fall. Yeah, in the fall. Yeah. Coming this <laughs> fall. <laughs> is a reading habit that I have. Have we talked about this? I was gonna we say, have. I don't know if we ever talked bookish think with you. so. <laughs> we have, I know we have, and it wasn't that long ago. Was it this week? No. Okay. Then no, I'm not gonna remember it. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Reading habit. Reading habit that you have. It's probably the only one I've ever said. So, I feel like no an actual terrible. I know. Friend. I'm like, I don't know anything I don't about know anything about. You. We're you such bad friends, friends to sweet little Audrey. We can buy you Starbucks. We'll, we'll buy you Starbucks. <laughs> Reading yeah. habit. Okay, I think I have an answer. I literally don't have one. I think I know. I think I know, but I could also be thinking of someone else. <laughs> so, whenever you're ready, Alicia. I'm <laughs> never going to be ready. Oh, <clears throat> oh really? Oh, Alicia can't make decisions. I really can't, but Fun it's not fact. that I can't make decisions, it's that I don't know the answer. Get, can I just forfeit my point? Because I really have no clue. Sure. I have forfeited a point. Th not okay. that I would have gotten it in the first place because I have no clue. So I will learn a new thing today. I'm okay. going to be mad if I know the answer. Um, is it that like when you're reading, you tend to skip down a line, so you have to stop yourself from like reading? Oh, yeah, and, you're like, right. Cover the page. With the ruler. Yeah. The yeah. You start and I'm like, now I remember. Yep. I never would have gotten that. If I lived in another time period, what would it be? I gave you this question and I don't know the answer. <laughs> it's hard because I feel like there are a few answers, but the one I'm going to go with, I already know the answer to. Like, you have to be kind of specific. Okay. <laughs> Do we have to give a decade or can it be like a general? It can be like a general. Because like, like, decades, decades might not exist. Well, that was the biggest hint you could have given me. I mean, I already know the answer. Yeah. But well, like that wasn't what I was gonna say. See? Wow. <laughs> you stole my point. <laughs> I just had I to, have to I have to come back. back. Sweet little Audrey. <laughs> I that was for you, Nancy. It just, you know, might. Yeah. You could be wrong too. It's it's true, I probably will be. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be wrong. Mm -hmm. There's two answers that I have in my head. And I only wrote down one and I'm not giving you a bonus point. You, well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I have footage where you would give me half a point. Yet, half a point. You were so, so close. close. Now okay. I'm hardcore regretting my choice, but I'm going to go with it. It's going to be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to say it. Okay, okay, then say it. Three, two, one, New Testament. <laughs> what is I was going to say the Exodus. 
Alicia's right. <laughs> it was in fact the Exodus. the Exodus. Oh my little Moses heart. My little Moses heart. I love Exodus and Moses and just all the things. See, after she like started talking, I was like, <clears throat> no, it could be like the early church in Rome. Mm -hmm. Since she's like, yeah. you know, so engrossed in that right yeah. now and she bought an entire reference book no, about it. If I could live in another time period, I would love to live in the Exodus just so I could know which movie got it closest <laughs> to when the Red Sea parts. <laughs> And because I love the story of Moses. I would be his best friend. Here's my question. If I could do one thing in the publishing world, what would it be? I know what it wouldn't be. <laughs> Write a book. <laughs> we had a huge conversation about, like, jobs in the publishing world. And technically there's two answers, but it's, like geared around the same thing. So it's one thing in the publishing world. But I will accept either answer. Do you know? You will get a bonus point for getting my top answer correct. So we can give up to two? two. Okay. <sighs> my answers are going to be super basic because I don't know. Okay. That's okay, my answers were probably super <laughs> basic. Do you want to go first? I mm -hmm. went first last time. Okay, I'll go first <laughs> this time. So, like, I'm thinking, based on what I, like, know about you and envision you <laughs> to be, like, social media manager or book cover, like, not design, but, like, critiquing, like, on that team of people that okay. decides what would work and what wouldn't. Both yeah. of those are probably wrong. Well, if they are, then we're going to be in the same boat. <laughs> I was going to say, like, working directly with authors to help them, like, promote and market mm -hmm. their book and being on, like, the yeah. cover team. team. Okay. Critiquing covers. Okay. Because I have some serious thoughts. Or my other one was to be a cover designer. Oh. Okay. I never knew that about I didn't you. think that. Yeah. Hmm. You so. would be good at that because you know yeah. the genres really well and what works and what doesn't. And you have like an eye for like visual stuff. Exhibit A, your Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. The final round. The I final don't know who's round ahead round and who's behind. Probably Audrey. Sweet little Audrey. Audrey. I'm losing. <gasps> like always. You ready? Yeah. Okay. We're just you just here. kept <laughs> commentating, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> you gotta speak over us. <laughs> We're loud. Okay. What type of flyer? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when I try to be assertive. <laughs> what type of flower do I find interesting, and why? Am I allowed to look at my notes on my no. phone? I wrote it down somewhere for a project I was gonna do. I know, you literally asked, what's your favorite type of flower? I never did the project, but I still have the note. I think I might have been at work when that text thread came through. No, you answered. You answered. I know, but that doesn't mean yeah. I read everything. <laughs> like, I, I might have read, guess. like, one question and then Just know it's text. kind of obscure. Lovely. Yeah. I don't know any flowers. I literally this, know no flowers. This, I, yeah, I know, like, roses and this one. Well, that's not true. I know more than that, but... Okay. I have an answer. I don't. <laughs> poor Alicia. You can have four <laughs> another point. <laughs> I'm just quitting my job so I can focus on our text message. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all I the really interesting mean. stuff happens when I'm at work. I get out of work and there's like okay. 52 but text messages. But then you guys talk while I'm asleep. And <laughs> Technically, they're like... Because I'm asking yeah. what it is and why. So, <clears throat> I'm not gonna know what I don't know is. why, but I might know what. I'm just gonna okay. say a random flower. Me too. I'm just gonna pick a random flower and be wrong. Cool. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna try. Okay. One. I'm gonna try. Two. Wrong. Three. Hydrangea? <laughs> that was not my answer. I was gonna say peony for some reason. That could also okay. be right. Do either of you wanna guess why it's my favorite? Because it's. 
pretty. Because <laughs> they can come in every color. Because it doesn't die after a certain time. Because I... you had an experience with what? There's a they were story. Your, there's a story behind it. You have a story. <laughs> you have a story. They're your mom's favorite. Everyone flower. has a story. Okay. I remember something about your mom. I could be wrong. This could be a different story. No, that's true. It is. I <gasps> because, <laughs> because they can change color from season to season. It's something in the pH of like the soil. Wait, so was I technically right? Yeah, you both said something about color, so I'll give you a point and you get two. You get a half of it. <laughs> you get half a I pulled that out of a hat. I always forget that that's a flower. Yeah. Like I yeah. know when she said it, it the image popped up. Yeah. I know what it looks like. I was gonna I just never. say like daffodil or something, but then I was like that can't be it. Yeah. Then I tried to remember our conversation. I think that's what it was. Yeah. It was my subconscious mind. Pulling the text. Okay. Here. So this this answer is a story. <laughs> Do we know the story? I think you should. I have kind of alluded to it at least okay. once on the internet. Oh. But I'm pretty okay. sure I've told you in like the group text at some point. Okay. So, <clears throat> but you might not. And if that's if you don't, that's fine. Okay. Okay. I feel like a terrible friend. You definitely should know because you were okay. So. What was my first embarrassing author encounter? Like, it was so embarrassing. And who was the author? Oh. I, know. I feel like you talked about it this week. It was a really embarrassing thing that happened to me. It was before I was even on the internet. Okay. I'm giving you too many hints. I have... Mm. It's a possibility. <laughs> I did tell But I you. could be getting it mixed I'm up with pretty sure I told you at CFRR. I'm gonna like take a shot in the dark. Okay. Do you have your answer? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, Roma Downey? No, you <laughs> sent your manuscript to somebody. Didn't they like respond with like didn't you send it? Was it Misu? Andrews? So you were so close. <laughs> Else. I'm gonna give you a half, half a point. point. <laughs> um, the answer was I emailed Misu Andrews, but I sent it to the wrong address and things happened. So briefly, in summary, I was writing a terrible book. It was awful. And like, I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe this is pretty good and I want to publish it as you do when you know nothing. And so I was like writing this email and I was like, hey, like writing to like a bunch of my favorite authors. Like I wrote fake emails to my favorite authors. It's so like they weren't, I wasn't ever going to send them. So I wrote like, and they were like individual personal emails just saying like, I love you. I look up to you by the way I'm writing this story. And it's like because of you, because your work inspired me and like, a personal like letter of like how I discovered their books or like what they mean to me blah 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 well one night at around 1 a.m. the I think it was like two weeks before I was getting married or something because I was like you know I'm just gonna like send the fake emails that I would kept in a word doc I'm just gonna send the fake emails and like see what happens and just see like you know maybe I could like get some advice on things I could do to like right learn about writing books or like some resources, whatever. I sent a fan letter <laughs> that I had written for Connie Lynn Cassette <gasps> to Misu Andrews. Oh no. <laughs> and she got it and she wrote back and it was like 2 a.m. And she wrote back, not at 2 a.m. And she was <laughs> like, did you want me to forward this to Connie? Cause I know her and she's really sweet. And I was like, <gasps> Oh my word, no, like I sent you the wrong email. I am so sorry. Like, I will do what, like, just, no, forget I exist. And I, you know what's funny? I went so far as to create a fake email to send these letters to, like, from, so that, like, they wouldn't know who I was. Yeah. And then, but, like, I resent her. Now, me, Sue, and Connie are gonna know. <laughs> I resent her this new email, and she, like, very politely was like, it's important to pray about the story you're writing to make sure that God wants you to write the story. That's what I remember. 
But like sent her another story about like how I discovered her books after my grandma passed away and how they like really helped me and like get through that whole thing. And then she was like, oh, that's so sweet. I didn't like, wow, that's so amazing. And then she asked if she could share it to her author page, but like changed the names so that it wouldn't be me. So like fun fact, there's like a, a story on me, Sue Andrews author page from years Aww. ago that is my story and what's funny Jenna is Jenna was famous before she was famous no but when I met her at CFRR I like kind of mentioned like yeah you like you know my like you read my story and you shared it to your author page she's like I don't remember that and I was like we were standing in line for breakfast right yeah yep and I was like well I didn't tell her but I was like I wrote it from a fake email account with a fake name so there's no way you would and like yeah because I didn't <laughs> want to remember the old terrible story idea and to like go back through her email, oh, I cringe. I wish I'd never sent them. But also they like gave me some great advice on like starting a blog and blah, 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 blah. And like writing and publishing. So it was, it was all fine. And Misi was really nice about it. But um, yeah, it was really embarrassing. <laughs> That's the story. <laughs> Do I have a point? Because technically I You got the survive. author, so you get a point. True. You didn't get the story right. So you you get one point. Well, I still have the manuscript too. I read it when I'm feeling really depressed. And that helps you? It does, because it makes me remember at least I'm not that girl. <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty. My last question. Hi, Misu. I need to text her. <laughs> Go on. <clears throat> How do I organize my bookshelf? I had that question originally. I never would have been able to get yours. See, we've been looking at your bookshelves and I'm still not sure how you organize them. I'll give an answer, but I'm not confident about it. Please That's say. been me this entire video. I'm hungry. Are there still cinnamon rolls in the kitchen? <laughs> yes, there are. Hey, okay. that's my dad. The end of this just like becomes like the first one. Should I go back? The barbecue chips and cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> okay. Because you even talked about how your brother is like, you should alphabetize them. That would mm -hmm. work for me. So I know it's not alphabetically. Okay, I have an idea. Do you have your answer, Jim? Yeah. Okay. I do. Do you want by genre? Okay. I don't know how you like organize organize them because like I feel like they're kind of in a random order in terms because you have shelves all over the house. I do. So I don't really know like what the purpose of the shelves is, but within the hold the books. But like which <laughs> shelf is for what and like if they're genre or author or whatever. But within the shelves by publication date. Mm, true. So it's by genre, by author, by publication date. <laughs> and each genre has its own shelf. Okay. Plus it's not like, you know, you have a bookshelf tour video on your channel. So I technically don't know who won, but my educated guess is Audrey. Yeah. I don't know. I got, surprisingly, I got a lot of years wrong. I thought I would do years <laughs> right, but I did not. You can put it on the screen and like... I lost, but I won because they're my friends. I... This was really fun though. It was. And in all seriousness... I just love that you guys like tossed your papers yeah. away and I just like tucked them under. Because <laughs> you're sweet little Audrey. But like it's dramatic no. flair. In all seriousness, <gasps> I'll do it at the end of the video. There you go. Okay. I love you both. Same. We're having a great time. A great we time. Are. They're so ready to go home. No, Especially I'm actually because I'm not sending Jenna back to North Carolina <laughs> or Audrey back to Texas. That is. But I'm actually really sad to go home. <laughs> I kind of just want. It's gonna be weird not to see you in person now. Like I want you guys to come with. Me. Yeah. <laughs> like I want to go home. <laughs> I want to bring you. <laughs> Gonna do your 20 minute outro? Wait, yes. should we each okay. do like a little outro though? 
I know, I can do it. I'll do you too. Okay, then I'll do your outro. Oh, I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> Everybody sit back. Okay. She has a story. Okay. This has been Audrey Bodine. She's the author of a sweet contemporary book called 18 Days of Christmas. She's hilarious. She has a blog that she uses sometimes and an Instagram that she uses in the fall. But you should follow both because they're golden and she's a comedic genius. The links will be in the description below. <laughs> there. I did Audrey's outro. So am I supposed to do yours now? Yeah, do Yes! Mine. Okay. This is Jenna Van Maurick, who is pretty much... <laughs> see, this is why I don't do YouTube, because I can't think <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> she has a beautiful Instagram, a wonderful YouTube that is original, and she posts sporadically. <laughs> But she has a lot of great ideas. <laughs> hey, for the first six months of the year, I posted two videos a week. That is true. I she, posted one posts, video at the beginning of the year. And they're worth it whenever they <laughs> pop up. And I can't speak because I... I. She's doing my outro. Stop interrupting. Sorry. We're talking about me. I would like to be the center of attention. She is... She's we are friends. And we wish we didn't know her anymore. We want her out of word. Basically, the queen of biblical fiction. Hey, if you want to know anything yeah. about it, go watch her videos and Instagram because there will be an answer to your question. And her tagline is something that's very succinct and good. I'm just trying to remember what it is. Do you want me to say it for you? Reading, writing, and living for Jesus? Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. <laughs> Alicia! <laughs> All my links will be in the description that below. Too. I'm an inspired writer and an inspirational fiction reader who reads, writes, and lives, lives for Jesus. Jesus. Ding! Ding! <laughs> ding! Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then there's me. <laughs> we make Alicia do it herself. Yeah! You can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com. You can also check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. And she's starting a book box. I am. Yes. We can't leave that out. <laughs> like you're gonna have to add that to your outro at some point. Just like stick a box in all my. By videos. the way, I'm also the CEO of my own company. A resume. Can I pay the papers now? Yes. Go for it! Oh! <laughs> I love you! I thought there was a fan! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this fantastic video where you find out that Alicia is a terrible friend. But I pay for plane tickets, so I think that kind of combats that I know nothing yeah, about true. them. <laughs> Invited us to like Those late strangers. Hate <laughs> possibly them. murder you <laughs> with sharp corners in my bedroom. And don't forget the knife. Mom, I Dad, know. I'm going to meet a stranger I met on the internet. You did watch and glass movie. shards on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Only I was the one who injured myself. So. <laughs> that one kind of fell back. This on video me. is just so many inside jokes. It is. But now we have memories. It's so fine. People 4 a.m. 4 a.m. You will be entertained because our yes. smi your smiles are contagious. <laughs> you should sit there. Not mine. The whole time. What? <laughs>